Tesla falls on plan to cut output of EVs at Shanghai factory. Carmaker may trim production by about 20% from last month. And um, what followed then was another article, you can see this here, Tesla China denies media reports of output cut at Shanghai plant. And you're probably thinking, okay, so what is going on? And I'm just telling you guys, uh, the world that we live in now is actually really tough because there's a lot of information out there. And the best thing for you to do is be patient. Don't come to conclusion like right away and um, you know, let the truth come to you. And this is something that I wanna emphasize is um, when I tell you guys things and show you guys stuff, I, I, I try my best, right? So we're talking about the Tesla situation. Um, I saw a bunch of media reports that said that Tesla's cutting stuff. Tesla has denied such reports and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's untrue when they deny it, right? Basically what you have to do is the proof is in the pudding, as they say, is let's say, you know, a month later, the numbers come out, we can see the actual cars for ourselves and then we'll know. And then over time, you'll get a sense of like, who do you trust more, right? And this is for anyone out there or anything out there the more exposure you have to people, right? Think about this way, uh, say FTX, Sam Brakeman Freed. If like he tells you over and over again, I'm gonna give you your money, I'm gonna give you your money, I'm gonna give you your money. But at the end of the day, he's not giving you your money. <laughs> Do you trust him anymore? And the answer should be, of course not. Um, you can't trust some people, that is a reality. And um, I, I'm bringing up this story because uh, this is just part of the, the world that we live in. Like here's another one. Um, Tesla denied retrial over black workers racism verdict, right? Uh, owner Diaz or Owen Diaz originally awarded 137 million by California Journey. Diaz claimed Tesla had turned a blind eye to racism at the factory, but yet Tesla denies this kind of stuff. And so this is sort of why um, I, I, I do the news with you guys is because I, I try my best to, I mean, basically give you the truth. I, I try my best to do that. Important it is to get factual information and also stay level-headed about things because um, you know information and bad information uh, has consequences or being with the wrong group of people has consequences. This is a real story. Look at this. Um, Germany arrests 25 suspected of planning to overthrow the government. Like what? This is this is crazy. And um, essentially there is this like former uh, prince. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a Game of Thrones kind of thing in Germany and I'm plotting with, you know, intel and military people to overthrow the government. And I'm laughing, but it's just like, this is actually really quite serious. I don't, I don't want to make light of it at all, actually. In fact, I shouldn't laugh, but it, it, I, I, think, I think it's more laughing of just like how crazy the world has become. And um, I, I wonder, you know, and, and I, I think to myself, is, are we going more like Walking Dead kind of situation? Or are we going more to Mad Max kind of situation? And you can write in the comments which world that you think we're heading towards. But it is it is unfortunately a, a true thing that there's just crazy people out there and, and I really get it for many people are like, you know what, Chris, I agree with you. There are crazy people out there. I'm all about protecting myself. <laughs> Forget about all the other people. And um, here's the thing is, and, and, I, and I was thinking about this as well as in this world and, and I talk about this in all my other videos, um, you got to develop a network of friends, a network of allies, uh, a network of contacts that have your back. And, and I think perfectly frank, this is probably one of the, be the best things that you can do in this crazy world as we go into recession. Un unemployment's gonna go up. It's gonna be every person for themselves. It feels like, like I said, Mad Max, uh, Walking Dead kind of world. And you know, I try my best to, to have your guys' back by being here every day um, for you guys. And, and I want you guys also to, um, to look around in your network, to look out for people who have your back. And the reason uh, also too, is you wanna get with the right group of people because if you get with the wrong group of people, like for example, here's a crazy story. I, I, I just saw this, this happened in August. So it's like uh, not new, it was just a couple months ago, but it was new to me. I was like, just looking at stuff. Um, look at this like headline. Footage shows flash mob of looters ransacked 7-Eleven in Los Angeles. And you know, you can look up the videos if you want and stuff, but you don't need to. Basically there's all these crazy people run into a 7-Eleven and like steal a bunch of cigarettes and, and you know, Pepsi. <laughs> For real, like I mean, what else are you gonna find at a convenience store? Um, but you know, this is sort of the, what the world has devolved into and it's really sad. This is just a, you know, a couple months ago, I'm just looking at this. Um, you can take a look at this stuff. This, this was back during all of the crazy rioting and, and protests during the pandemic. Um, you know, this is people standing on top of police cars. They don't advocate to like stand on top of burnt police cars. I don't think it's a good thing. Um, you know, we have looting as well. And, and, I, and I show these pictures because guys, I've talked about stuff several times on the channel. And, and one thing that, that's really frustrating to me and in doing YouTube all the time, I think sometimes people just see what they want to see and believe what they want to believe th th despite like realities. Like I, I talk about uh, uh, violence and, and bad things that happen from all groups because if a group does something bad, I don't like it. If <laughs> someone in my neighborhood is like burning down buildings, I don't want that. I grew up, I, guys, I grew up in Portland and like there's like crazy crap going on there. I, I lived in LA and I'm like, this is all stuff from LA and was like, what are these crazy people doing? 
And I think it's important to call it all out, not just one side. And this is sort of why when I say guys, hey, you know, so-and-so is guilty, they're guilty. I'm not like making stuff up. And, and you kind of end up looking like a fool if you only uh, attack one side and only defend one side, right? And this is sort of where I think people clown themselves to where I'm saying, guys, I mean, believe in rule of law, believe in like have some sort of moral standards, like have have some consistency in your life. And I think you'll do much better. And this is sort of the thing that I share with you guys. And I'll repeat over and over again. You may not know I'm pushing 50. Um, I don't look my age, uh, mostly because I'm not out like stressing out all the time. I'm not out to cheat people. And here's a real thing. If you want to stay young, uh, stick with the truth, because the more you try to like live in fantasy world, the more you have to like use mental gymnastics that creates a lot of stress to like try to make sense of the world, right? So like if you see a picture of, of people looting, you can see it right here, I don't like pretend like people aren't looting. I say, yep, people are looting. I don't like it, right? If I, if, if I start making up stuff of like, oh, well, no, they're not looting. They're like just dancing around for fun on, on wood and uh, they're wearing masks because uh, it's COVID. Yeah. And uh and uh, yeah, the other people are they're they're actually there to help the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like like do you see how much like like how much of a fool you sound like when you when you do this kind of stuff. And so this is something I, I want to just share with you guys is you know how to make it through these crazy times because also true I, I understand that's why I started with the first thing of the Tesla stuff. It's hard to know what's real anymore, but you know some things it, it you can't deny. I mean I can see pictures for for myself. It's not a hard to to see, and this is sort of where you want to live in in reality. Again, the January sixth stuff I, I will not ever not talk about. I'm gonna bring it up over and over again because it happened. Like people standing on police cars and stuff like this and uh, storming the Capitol. And for those of you who think these people are heroes, I just wanna ask yourself a fundamental question. Uh, just imagine, for example, if these were Latino groups or these were black groups or people look like me, Asian groups storming the Capitol. How do you think you would feel, right? For people who support this stuff, they're like, they probably look like you. There's a high chance of that. And you probably think it's okay because they look like you. But just think about this and be honest with yourself. If, 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 a, if a group of you know people who weren't white had a bunch of uh, flags and were storming the Capitol, maybe they're yelling Black Panther, Black Panther, that's kind of stuff, how would you feel? And, and most people, you know, just if you be honest with yourself, you know how you'll feel. Um, and this is sort of like, and I'm not saying like, you know, just because white people storm the Capitol, I'm mad. It doesn't matter who storms the Capitol, I would be mad and I am mad and I think it's ridiculous, right? I, I, I can't emphasize it enough. This stuff is ridiculous. Same thing again, I gotta mention over and over again because you guys act like I just make stuff up. I don't want people looting. It doesn't matter who they look like, what they look like. I don't want people looting in, in cities that I that I live. Same way I don't want people like storming the Capitol. And it's crazy that I have to even like mention this stuff because like, I feel like, am I the only sane person in the world here? What, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> um, and, and it's like, you know, you go back to this, like, okay, uh, are we living in a world where, you know, people who believe in the in the flat earth, is, is that is that sort of where we're, we're going to? Is that these the people who are gonna rule the roost? And, and unfortunately, we are in a crazy world. Um, I, I, you know, making this video just because I, I want to just express the frustration of I'm having right now um, when I read these headlines and, and I'll, I'll get back to business news, you know, when I can, but this, these are headlines. You, you can't ignore this stuff. Like, look at this. Um, Peru's president quickly ousted after moving to dissolve Congress. Like, they, they basically are, are worrying about coups in Peru, uh, arresting people and stuff. I mean, you can read it. Um, uh, Pedro Castillo announced the move just before Congress voted to impeach him. Much of his government resigned to protest what political leaders said was a coup attempt. Like, what? And, and this is going on with the... Uh, a German thing as well, and and um, the 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 German thing is is, is crazy uh, because this is related to like QAnon and sort of your right wing conspiracy theory stuff. Um, the this is the guy he um, I guess he like I said it says here is uh he was the ringleader Prince Heinrich uh, the I guess that would be the thirteenth of Rus the seventy one year old descendant of a former uh, German royal family. So I guess he was kind of rallying people around him saying, hey, I'm the rightful heir. That, that part I'm sure he's saying, I'm not, I'm not reading through these posts, I'm just saying this, that, that kind of stuff. And and it's like, we're in this Game of Thrones uh, kind of world where people are fighting over the throne and it's all about misinformation and stuff like that. And I'm reporting to you guys this stuff because it, I, I do think it matters. I, I think these larger things happening, um, be it crazy stuff on the internet, you guys don't know, I mean, I, I do YouTube every day and you have to deal with a couple things. One, you have to deal with a whole bunch of spam content. I mean, there's really quite a bit. There's there's so much spam on, on YouTube comments, it's unreal. Um, the other thing you have to do, you have to deal with like basically crazy people writing stuff. Um, you have to be able to saying racist stuff. This is a real thing. I, I You guys have no idea. You see you see so much stuff when you do this stuff. And um, one thing that I, I emphasize with you guys, um, I had a whole other career as a professor for a long time um, before I, I did this for 10 years. And um, 
the reason why YouTube is, is fun for me is because I had a different life. I think uh, for those of you who ever want to do YouTube, this kind of stuff, if you were to start as a young kid, let's say at 19, 20 or whatever, something like that nature, and that's the only job that you've ever done and you do it all the way through, I, I think that would be really damaging to your mental health. And, I, and I'm being really serious because your whole sort of career is based on whether or not people like you. <laughs> that's literally what it is. Um, whereas, you know, you do um, other, other types of jobs and it's like you want to be good at your job, you develop real, um, I won't say it's not, I won't say that like people on, on social media and people watching aren't necessarily quote real because, because you interact every day, right? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a real, um, it's a real interaction that you have with people on, on the social media. But I, I think that the difference is for people who have developed a career and learned to build relationships with inhuman people, um, has a very different dynamic than only through the camera and only through the internet. Uh, that is that is, that is real, um, and and sort of why I, I always stay level headed and just sharing some advice with you guys, uh, because you know day after day after day, um, being in the classroom with students or working on film projects is another thing uh, for as well. Is um you start to like develop trust in people and understand also too not everyone in the world is trustworthy, which is actually a very real thing. You know, for uh, young people when you're first kind of getting your your I guess, stretching your legs uh, out in your career path, um, you will find that people will make you promises that they don't keep. That's a real thing. That That's part of business. And this is sort of why, you know, when old people tell you, like myself, say, hey, developing, you know, a trustworthy network of, of people that, that, you know, are reliable and people that will give you information, people that show up on time, people that you can depend on, this is how the world really works. And that's why I say, like, for example, you know, if, if one of your coworkers goes to another company and they have fond memories of you, of like being said person, reliable, dependable, you know, trustworthy, hard worker, qualified, these kind of things, they're going to drag you over to the, to their new company with you because everybody want, wants to work with good people. And um, it, it's sort of like you got to think about if you want to be with good people, you yourself need to be a good person that is attractive to, to work with. And everyone ends up benefiting uh, each other in that way. And so, you know, the, the reason why I go after store after store after store of this kind of stuff is I, I, I find it so odd when, when people are defending people that are not good. <laughs> like, for example, here's another story about, about the Trump situation. I have to bring it up because it's, it's in the news and it all is all relating. And, um, you know, look at this. Like, they found yet more stuff he wasn't supposed to have. And it's like, what? And, um, you know, another example, you, you read these crazy headlines about, you know, Kanye. And I don't talk about Kanye all, way, all, all day, every day. But, you know, I, I unfortunately think that, you know, maybe much of our youth today want to be Kanye West. Um, which is nuts, or they want to be Kim Kardashian, right? Or maybe they want to be Jake Paul or Luke Paul or Tom Paul, whatever the guy's name is. <laughs> they, they want to live in that professional wrestling kind of thing. And um, one thing that, that sort of bothered me, and, and I, I was been thinking about this when we talk about, say, like, the crazy meet Kevin guy, this kind of stuff, and I can play his commercial for you. Remember, coupon code PP expires Friday. Join or pay a higher price later when you finally join and get that lifetime access. And so literally, this kind of person meet Kevin, right? It, it's obvious to me, it's obvious to my, if we always talk about it, like it's obvious the guy's a scammer. It's obvious the guy's like really slimy. Uh, and yet people still watch that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, you know, I always ask my wife, why, why are people watching this idiot? And my wife's always say, well, the reason why they watch criminals is because they're criminals too. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And, and, it, and it's kind of funny because it's like, so, okay, so then going back to the Mad Max and, and the, um, you know, Walking Dead, is that the world that people want to live in? Is like people watch Kanye because they want to be Kanye because they are Kanye. And then I was thinking about the flash mob situation. Is that the majority of the people? And one thing I want to emphasize with you guys, to be successful in this world is not to do what necessarily the majority is doing, is doing the right thing and, and being different than other people. The same way that all the basically scammers got sucked into FTX and stuff like that, right? Um, not everyone did. And they, they, they basically jumped in because, oh, well, everyone else is doing it, so I'm doing it too. Everyone else is, you know, running through the pit of crocodiles. That's what the cool kids are doing, so I'm doing it too. And I, I feel sad that, uh, that people think like the best way to be successful in life is to cheat other people. And it reminded me of the situation which we talked about before on this channel. Um, if, you, if you guys know, you know, the big YouTuber guy, CoffeeZilla, comes out with a video uh, basically saying, hey, there's a bunch of scammers out there, stuff like that. And you have this guy, Spencer Cornelia, who's like defending these kind of people. And the reason why I bring up the Spencer situation, going back to say Kanye, going back to like the Kevin kind of stuff, is um, this is just 16 minutes ago. You guys can see this. I get all these comments all the time. And this is a a video, uh, a comment in response to the whole Spencer and, and uh, CoffeeZilla thing. If you don't understand the drama, I'll explain it very quickly. So you have a bunch of scammers on YouTube, scamming people at FTX. You have CoffeeZilla, who's sort of like the scammer exposer person and they're real popular. And he says, hey, those are a bunch of scammers. 
And then you have friend of the scammers, which is Spencer, saying, no, no, my friends aren't scammers. You're the liar, CoffeeZilla. And um, this is a response. Someone says, hey, I appreciate the video, but 100% disagree with the sentiment. Not wanting to reach a larger audience and in turn make more money is not a standard business practice. A job is a job. And, you're, and if you're looking down creators, I expect you to be, have a video calling out the VCs that fell for this too. Here's the point. Here's the point of this kind of sentiment. And I've seen these, 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 these kind of comments quite a bit. And I want to tell you guys why it's completely wrong. And you want to be, watch yourself out there. So basically, the concept is, hey, that person just wants to make money. What's wrong with making money? Okay, now think about this. Hey, that person on the street corner selling, you know, uh, substance to kids. They just, they're just out to make money. What's wrong with making money? Right? Think, of, think about that, guys. Hey, that, that, that person on the street corner is robbing from grandma. They just, they're just out there trying to make money. What's wrong with making money? Just think about that. And, and, and that's not the world that I teach my students. That's not the world I want you to be in. I don't think that's a healthy situation. And this is sort of, unfortunately, I think a lot of the world is devolving in, into this kind of stuff. And, you know, it is what it is. If that's the kind of world you want to be, if you want to, you know, use coupon code PP, <laughs> if you want to be in Hustlers Elite University, so be it, right? Um, but I, I put out this kind of content for you guys to let you know that not everyone is in that world. And also too, when people say, hey, Chris, what is the secret to staying young? I, I, I'll say it very clearly, I'm pushing 50. Uh, I'm not out to cheat people all the time. I'm, I'm here to build relationships with people for a long time. I, I can just tell you, like even the students that I had, you know, 20 some years ago, uh, whatever, still message me and, and say, hey, Chris, how's it going? You know, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? You know, and, and, and um, we're just, uh, I don't know how to explain it, just, it, you'll live a much better life if, if, if you stick with the facts, you stick with the truth, you're not just making up a bunch of stuff all the time. You live a much better life if, if, if you're honest with people and, and you sincerely want to help other people and you, you're sincere also to not wanting to steal from other people. And I, I, I just try to make it really clear and really and, and really insane as possible. Um, that's why, you know, when I, when I go through the, the news and stuff like that, um, I'm just trying to find out the truth. I don't have to prove anything. I don't have to like convince you of anything. I'm just like, hey, this looks like I could read it for myself and you guys read it too, right? And, and I show you exactly what I'm looking at. Same way I show you charts and these kind of things. And so I, I, I guess I guess what, what, what's kind of wrong with the world right now is just so people are so concerned about their team winning, they just like have to like twist their mind and, and twist other people's minds as much as they can to, to do that. So hope you understand the message of this video. I, I want you guys to stay young, stay healthy, and um, be a positive force in the world. Be a positive force for your friends, your children, and your family members, right? Especially during this holiday season. And um, I think that's the best way to live. So that's my opinion on that. So thanks again for watching everyone and I'll catch you next video.